Welcome to the Nokia SR Linux Learning Essentials video series, brought to you by the Nokia Data Center Fabric Certification Program. This video explains SR Linux interface configuration and verification. Modern data center uses the leaf and spine, close architecture and IP routing for traffic exchange. Nokia offers a family of IP routers such as the 7220 and 7250 IXR that are purposely designed to work as leaf and spine routers. To support control plane and data plane forwarding in a data center, different types of interfaces need to be configured on the leaf and spine routers. The loopback and system interfaces are virtual interfaces that are always up. They provide a stable source or destination from which packets can always be originated or received. They are typically used by IGP and BGP routing protocols. The management interface is usually connected to a carrier's management network and is used for out-of-band management traffic. The network interfaces reside on the line cards. These interfaces carry transit traffic as well as originate and terminate control plane traffic and in-band management traffic. SR Linux Interface Naming Conventions The names of different SR Linux interfaces need to follow some predefined naming conventions. Loopback interfaces are named LO followed by a number. The system interface is a special type of loopback interface. It supports only one sub-interface system 0.0 .0 and can be bound only to the default network instance. It is required when VXLAN tunnels are used. ASSR Linux router has only one management interface and it is called Management 0. The network interfaces are named following the convention Ethernet followed by the line card number then the physical port. As an example, Ethernet-1-36 refers to the network interface on line card 1 port 36. SR Linux sub-interface. A sub-interface is a logical interface within a parent interface such as Ethernet-1-36. If the parent interface VLAN tagging is set to false, which is the default setting, only one sub-interface is allowed. If the parent interface's VLAN tagging is set to true, up to 4,096 sub-interfaces using different VLAN IDs are allowed. A sub-interface can be of type routed, which is the default setting, or bridged, Sub-interface name use the name of the parent interface followed by a dot and an index number from 0 to 99.99. When a sub-interface is bound to a network instance, IP forwarding for its subnets are enabled. Network instance is covered in other SR Linux Learning Essential videos. First, let us configure the network interface between Leaf1 and Spine1 routers. On the Leaf1 router, enter into the candidate mode to configure the router. Config a network interface Ethernet-1 slash 1 with a sub-interface 0 to the Spine 1 router. Enable the sub-interface. The sub-interface has an IP address 10.1.1.1 slash 31. Now the Leaf 1 router can aggregate host traffic to the Spine routers. Config another network interface Ethernet-1 slash 10 with to host 10. Enable the interface. Set VLAN tagging to true. Create a sub-interface 0 and enable the sub-interface. Add an IPv4 address 192.168.101.1 slash 28 to the sub-interface. Add VLAN ID 10 to the sub-interface. We just configured the sub-interface using VLAN ID 10 to connect to host 10 to aggregate host traffic to the Spine 1 router. Let us configure the loopback, system, and management interfaces for the router's control and management plane traffic. Enter into the candidate mode to configure the router. Configure the loopback interface L00 and enable the interface. Create a sub-interface 0 under the loopback interface and enable the sub-interface 0. Router ID of the Leaf1 SR Linux router is 100.0.2.1. Set the sub-interface's IP address using the router ID as a slash 32 address. This simplifies the identification of the Leaf1 router in IGP and BGP setup. Commit the change and review the loopback interface configuration. Config the system interface. Enable the interface. Add a sub-interface 0 and enable the sub-interface. Use the same IPv4 address of the loopback interface for the system's sub-interface for ease of router identification in VXLAN setup. Verify the system interface. The management interface has been pre-configured in the lab. Its sub-interface's IP addresses are assigned via a DHCP server. Verify SR Linux interfaces. 
This command shows all the interfaces that we have configured on the router and their details. This command shows the interface's IP addresses assigned via a DHCP server. Leaf1 router uses DHCP servers for IP address assignment for its management interface. This command lists all network interfaces on the line card 1 with names starting with 1. This command shows sub-interface 0 configured on all line cards on the router. That's it for SR Linux interface configuration and verification. Thanks for watching and be sure to explore the rest of this video series to learn more. And when you're ready to practice what you've learned, my DCF Learning Labs provides comprehensive exercises with step-by-step -step instructions and solutions, all in one simple browser-based application.